Happy Thursday, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. Today is going to be, well, let's just put it this way, a little bit crazy of a video. I am going to be using Upstart Epoxy Deep Pour. I did receive my kit. And the next couple of videos that I will be doing will be resin videos for Upstart. Now, they agreed to send me this and they are aware of the video that I'm going to be doing with their product. And um, it's something that I don't think anybody has ever tried to turn. I, I'm not sure if it's even going to work, but you know what? You don't know until you try, right? So what I'm getting at is this video is going to be something that, well, let's just say it could get a little bit messy. Um, as far as stinky, there's no odor. It just might be a little bit messy, but that's okay. I'm, I'm here for the challenge. What I'm referring to is if anybody knows anything about animals, you'll know what this is. So I'm going to try to, so you're not going to see me in the video. You're going to see this. So this is a big pile of cow. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Um, and I'm gonna turn it. And I'm gonna turn it in upstart epoxy deep pour resin. I'm not exactly sure what kind of pigment I'm going with on this video. I'm gonna put you back up here so you can see my face. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of pigment I'm going with, but they did send samples of mica powder, which there is some just beautiful colors in this but we have a like, dark green it's just extraordinary um olive green which i will let you know my favorite color is green i love green it's just absolutely beautiful i'm not going to go through all the colors i'm just going to kind of show you but i mean there are so many colors that upstart sent me and i will make sure that they have a link in the video description below as well as if you see below here, there's their website. If you are interested in trying Upstart Epoxy, the deep pour, please consider doing it. I am super excited to, to use this product in my video and I am greatly appreciative to Upstart Epoxy for letting me use their product for this video. Now I am gonna let you know, this idea did not come to me. This idea come to my husband. He wanted me to do something crazy and he thought that, you know, turning some cow would, would be the, the kicker of a video. So we will see what will happen with this. What I'm gonna do is try to figure out how I'm gonna trim this down to fit in this bucket. Not exactly sure how to trim cow but I will try. So I will do that. Once I get it trimmed down, I will come back, get the resin mixed up with So now since that's in there, we'll, we'll try to figure out our color and then we'll get the resin mixed up. This is gonna be a kind of a longer video, but you know what? It's a fun one, so. All right, so I was thinking maybe go with the white, definitely the sparkling white. I was thinking probably yellow maybe I don't know just because of the what this is you know kind of kind of goes together I guess I know this is crazy and <laughs> anyways um yeah so I think we're gonna go with yellow and we're gonna go with the white with it just because I think it'll look really good okay let's get this resin mixed up and get the color added Let's give a shout out to Upstart Epoxy for this video. Um, I greatly appreciate this opportunity to be able to use your product and um, to showcase it on my YouTube channel. And I'm so excited to be able to use their deep pour. Um, this is my first time using it and I am super, super stoked about this. So. I will make sure I have their link in the video description, so please go check them out. 
And I also, if you look down at the bottom, there is the website. So everything's on there. Um, feel free to go check them out. And let's get this mixed up, all right? With the harder, oh, look at this. They give a nice little metal spoon for their mica powders. That is awesome, I like that a lot. Very, very nice. Very nice. All right, guys, I will see you all back in a couple days.
Hi guys. I'm sure you're probably wondering what I'm thinking right now. Uh, it's this, this was a very crazy video. Thanks to my crazy husband for coming up with the idea. And thanks to his co-worker, Jason, who supplied the Meadow Muffin for this video. Also, a big, big thank you and shout out to Upstart for sending me their deep pour and their mica powders. I'll tell you what, your product is amazing. So thank you so much. I love the fact that I was getting streamers when I was turning this. I've used other resins and it was kind of dust coming off of it. Now, don't get me wrong, where there was the the meadow muffin, I was getting a little dust, um, but nothing but nothing crazy. But I just I like the fact that how easy it turned. I mean it literally turned so easy. It was actually my best experience with resin by far. Um, so thank you again, Upstart, for sending me a deep pour and your mica powders. I will make sure I have everything linked in the video description below, so please go check them out. Also, if you look right here, I have a coupon code to where you could save yourself 5% off. So please, if you're interested in trying some resin, give Upstart a, a try. You're going to love it. Okay, without further ado, I definitely want to share this with you because I am actually pretty shocked that it turned out this nice. Uh, I mean, the material itself is just, it was a questionable turn as, as just the way it is. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> who, who even thinks of something like this except for my husband? But I guess I'm just as crazy because I turned it. So without further ado here, guys, check this out. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. It is so, it is so awesome. Look at those crazy patterns that the resin made. I love it. And no, it didn't smell when I was turning it. I know that's probably what you're, a lot of you is going to ask. Did I have it? No, it didn't. It didn't smell like what you think it, it would. Because it, the meadow muffin was completely dry. I, I keep saying that because I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say any other word um, due to monetization. I just don't want <laughs> don't want to say it if I'm not allowed. But no, it didn't have an odor. Uh, there was hardly any moisture whatsoever in it. So I mean, it was basically like if you would take resin and pour into punky wood. That's kind of what it was because that's how dry it was. But no, there's absolutely no smell even after. And that's just a scrap piece of walnut. Actually, it's really pretty. It's weird. I've never seen walnut do that when you turn it, but I like it. It's definitely a conversation piece. Uh, yeah. So until next Thursday, guys, don't forget to stick around for those glam shots. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on crazy videos like this. All right, guys, until next Thursday, goodbye.